Hey y'all, it's me so. Come on into my kitchen today where we're gonna be making some southern style good creamy pinto beans that's gonna have a gravy on them. Uh, yeah, so you see I've had these pinto beans. They've been soaking for a while now and all of the bad ones, they'll come to the top and you can just take those off. Uh, what I have here is a one pound bag of China doll pinto beans. You can get any kind that you like. You know, don't get them too cheap or they'll have a lot of bad ones in them. But just get you a nice bag of pinto beans, whatever you prefer. And let them sit overnight in some water or many hours and they'll do good for you. Let's go ahead and start rinsing them out. We're going to get this water that it has been sitting in. We're going to get that off here and we're going to just begin to rinse, wash, and drain them. And here we go. I'm going to pour these out now into the colander and I'm still going to run more water on them, baby, because we got to make sure they are clean. Cause we don't know where these pintos have been. Look at this. This is a ham bone, baby. Yeah, ham bone. Ham bone. It's the bone of a ham that I cook during Christmas. I never, never, never throw them away because these ham bones are money, baby. They are golden. They make your greens and your beans and whatever else you're cooking. Oh, my God. They make them so good. So don't ever throw them away. Just put them in the freezer and save them until the next time you're going to cook a soul food dish. So I'm putting six cups of warm water in over this, and I got my crock pot up to high. Uh, let me check back now. It's been an hour cooking. I just want to check on them and see how they're doing. I want to just kind of uh, taste the liquid in here and see what it tastes like. I'm ready to season now, baby. Yeah, this is my uh, jerk seasoning. And as I told you before, it doesn't taste too much like jerk. It tastes more like Creole. And I'm getting in my garlic, baby, because you know it takes a little garlic to make anything good. Yeah. And I'm coming right back with some sea salt. And you do all of this to fit your taste. Let me taste my little water now. Oh, you see, this is this is not gravy. You see, this is thin. That water's just brown. And it's just thin water, but it's going to get thick. Look here, now I'm putting in some Creole seasoning. close this up and I'm letting this guy cook for 10 hours on high. Yeah, I can cook it longer if I want more gravy and I do, but I'm just letting it cook for 10 hours. And you're going to see the consistency of what I got. Now you can let yours cook 14 hours, 16 hours. This, the juice is just going to get thicker and richer. Let's go ahead and get a bowl of this stuff. It's been 10 hours now. I've waited long enough. Let's see what we got in this pot. Ho! How do you like this? I want you just look here and look at this, what's happened to this brown water. It's become a brown gravy. Oh, man. This right here is a bowl of beans that eat like steak, baby. This is... Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is so good. It's so good. You know what? I had to go get me some hot water cornbread to eat with it. Look at that. You see the steam coming out of that? Oh, my God. You need nothing else with this, really. This is so, so, so good. I need to taste this plan. Yeah. Uh, let me show you the inside of this. I've got peppers in this and some uh, onions, and it is a delicious baby. Oh, I wish you could get some of this. You can. Just do what I did and make you something right in your own kitchen. Take a look, take a look. I love the gravy more than anything because you can just eat it by itself. You can put it down over some bread. And, oh, man, it's so good. I'm telling you, you'll be just, oh, you'll be just so happy that you did this. It is so good, so filling. It is comfort food for me because this is the kind of dish that we came up on. Look what I did. I found me some greens here. Now I got my greens and my hot water cornbread and I got my beans. Okay, you can't tell me so nothing now. In fact, hey, I gotta get out of here because I gotta go and eat this good, good food. Ah, guys, make this in your kitchen. It'll be easy. Your family will love you for it. If you like my videos, I want you to share them with other people. I want you to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. And uh, I love you guys. Thank you for coming by to see what I'd be cooking. You knew I was throwing good. I would be throwing down. Love you.